Good morning class. We are doing part 2 of the chapter ACF and LCM. Okay. The objective for today is we will be able to solve LCM of two numbers using prime factorization. Okay. Uh, in the way how we solved uh, ACF of two numbers using prime factorization in the previous lesson. Okay. In this lesson we are going to see how to solve LCM. LCM means lowest common multiple. Okay. We, we are going to solve LCM of two numbers using prime factorization method. Uh, before that, uh, let's quickly understand what are exponents because this topic is very important when you are solving LCM questions using prime factorization method. Okay, so what are exponents? If you go to the definition of exponent, an exponent means the number of times a number is multiplied by itself. Okay, let's take an example. We have 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So 2 is multiplied by 2 4 times, right? So in exponents, we write it as 2 to the power 4. Okay, this is 4 you can see Okay, this is representative of the 4 times this 2 is getting multiplied. So if you are taking an exponent like this, 2 to the power 4. Okay, now the bigger 2 which is down, okay, the number is down and we write it in Okay, that number is called as a base. Okay, and the number which is on the top, or we write it in smaller letters. Okay, जो ऊपर रहता है और छोटे letters में लिखते हैं, उसको हम क्या बोलते हैं? Power or exponent. उसको power बोलते हैं या फिर exponent भी बोलते हैं. Okay, and this term is pronounced as two to the power four. ठीक है? Two to the power four. Now if you are given the question, okay, find the value of the following exponent. Now, this is exponent, right? 2 to the power 4 is an ex exponent. Now, if you are asked what is the value of the following exponent, what you have to do is write it in the expanded form. So, 2 to the power 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 4 times. So, 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, right? So, if you multiply 2 into 2, you get how much 4 then multiply 4 into 2 you get how much 8 and you multiply 8 into 2 you get how much 16 so the final answer of 2 to the power 4 is equal to 16 so if you're asked what is the value of 2 to the power 4 okay you have to expand it in multiplication form okay then you have to find the final answer which is 16 okay now you have a small exercise what you have to do is find the value of the following exponents you have exponents teen, okay you have to expand it in multiplication form and write the final value okay pause the video here and start attempting this okay let's come back now so if you're asked what is the value of the following exponents uh, we'll take the first exponent first 3 to the power 3 okay 3 to the power 3 means 3 is multiplied by 3 3 times okay so 3 into 3 into 3 okay now if we do 3 into 3 we get 9 3 into 3 karte hum log 9 milte and if we do 9 into 3 we get 27 okay so the final answer is 27 similar the second one 4 raised to the power 2 or 4 to the power 2 uska matlab kya 4 is multiplied by 4 2 times so we will write 4 into 4 you know so 4 into 4 is 16 okay and the last one is 2 to the power 5 so we have to multiply 2 how many times 5 times okay so we'll go 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 if you multiply 2 5 times okay then the final answer will come as 32 okay now keep this in mind because this is very important while you are solving LCM okay now let's move on and recall what was LCM LCM kya tha hum thoda revise kar lete hai, okay so LCM means lowest common multiple we already studied about LCM in grade 6 okay uh, here is the steps to build skill for the original method this method se hum class 6 mein karte the. so what was the original method find all the multiples of the numbers then find the smallest common multiple multiple means you have to uh, write the table 
of the respective number how does it look like so multiple of 4 is 4 ones are 4 hota hai, right then we have 4 to the 8 4 3 the 12 4 4 the 16 4 5 the 20 similarly we'll go on right so these are the multiples of 4 similarly 7 ka bhi multiples nikal lenge to 7 1 the 7 7 to the 14 7 3 the 21 7 4 the 28 7 5 the 35 right dono ke multiple nikal gaye then you have to find the lowest common multiple dono rows mein aap log check karoge isme common kya hai so if you look at this row and this row isme common aapko kya dikh raha hai okay 28 number is common okay usse aage aur kuch common hai nothing is common huh? 20 is the 28 is the first number which is coming common okay and this is also the smallest number which is coming common so the multiple of 4 and 7 will write as 28 okay this is how you used to do in grade 6 now in grade 7 we'll do by prime factorization method okay we studied about prime factorization in the previous lesson okay and we studied about exponent in today's lesson okay you're using both prime factorization and exponent method and we'll be solving lcm okay we'll find the lcm of two numbers using prime factorization this is what we're learning in grade 7 here are your steps to build skill okay and here are your questions so this is the first method we are seeing this is a simple prime factorization method okay for your reference i am keeping the first in prime numbers on the side this method is similar to doing scf okay thorai difference like the last step the first steps are similar so what you have to do is do prime factorization of the numbers numbers ke prime factorization karne so you take a rough column on the side okay first we have 16 and 40 so 16 ka pehle nikal lete so if you break down 16 it will look something like this okay so how do you write this the prime factorization of 16 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 okay we already did this in previous class okay now the second step here is that you have to write the numbers in exponent form we recently did exponent na? abhi abhi just kya tha exponent form mein likhne ka to abhi is pure cheez ko hum exponent pe likhte hain so 2 kitne bar hai idhar pe multiply ho raha hai 4 times right 2 is multiplied 4 times here so what will be the exponent 2 to the power 4 okay 2 to the power 4 hum likhenge okay now let's do the prime factorization of 40 second number is 40 let's do prime factorization of 40 so 40 ka prime factorization aisa dekhega aapko you do it in the rough column here okay we break down the numbers right now if you write it the prime factorization of 40 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 okay now here also we have to write it in exponent form okay here you have 2 how many times 3 times 2 into 2 into 2 3 times say aapke pas so we will write as 2 to the power 3 okay and the 5 here over here wo ek hi time hai to aap 5 idhar pe likh do aap 5 to the power 1 bhi likh sakte ho upar okay you can write as 5 to the power 1 idhar pe but it's not necessary directly 5 hi likh do aap what is the last step last step is pick out all the base with the highest powers and multiply to find the lcm aska matlab kya what was base in an exponent exponent mein base kya hota hai agar if you have given 2 to the power 4 so this is called as base and the top one is called as power or exponent theek hai abhi hum kya karenge base ko nikal lete hain okay take out all the base okay so if you are asked what is the lcm of 16 and 40 you will take out the base first so base is me kya kya hai so you have two base two base and five as base right so two is coming two times so we'll take one time only okay and five is coming one time so we'll take five so two into five likh liya humne theek hai now what you have to do two here has two powers ek mein you have two to the power four and in one you have two to the power three so, we will take 2 to the power 4 or 2 to the power 3. Lenge. So, if you look here, you have to take out all the base with the highest power. This power high, hai, okay? That number you have to take. 
so 2 to the power 4 is bigger or 2 to the power 3 is bigger which is bigger 2 to the power 4 is bigger hai na so what you have to do is write here 2 to the power 4 and a 5 वैसे का वैसा आप लिखोगे ठीक है now if you solve this आपको LCM मिल जाएगा so 2 to the power 4 means you have to multiply 2 4 times so 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 ठीक है जो answer आया that you will multiply with 5 okay and you will get the final answer which will be 80 okay let's look at the second example we have 5 and 16 so 5 ka prime factorization ke saath 5 is already a prime number so we'll write as 5 is equal to 5 into 1 Take care. Now let's do prime factorization of 16. 16 ka prime factorization we have already done on the top. Upper as a kiya hua hai. Okay. So it will come as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Now we have to write it in exponent form. Exponent form mein likhenge. So it will become 2 to the power 4. On the top number we are not doing exponent form because they are only multiplied one time. Okay. Either a ki 5 hai or a ki 1 hai. So we don't do exponent form okay now coming to the answer so LCM of 5 and 16 will be equal to up kya hoga third step you have to take all the base jo numbers aapko niche dikhte hai okay base mein dikh rahe hai wo sab aapko utha lena hai so we have 2 over here okay idhar pe aapka 5 hai or 1 hai so 1 into anything is the same number so 1 nahi bhi loge aapko chalega so we will write as 2 into 5 1 bhi lak, lik sakte ho nahi bhi likhoge chalega thik hai we have taken the basis thik hai ab power lenge hum log thik hai so 5 is only one time so 5 ko aisa ko aisa hi likhenge hum log 2 is how many times 2 is coming 4 times here thik hai aur kahi pe 2 aa nahi rahe 2 is coming 4 times in this number right so what we will have to do is we have to take 2 to the power 4 Okay, and again, if you do 2 to the power 4 into 5, you should do 2 multiply it 4 times 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 and into 5. The answer you'll get is 80. Okay, answer will say aapka 80 aega. Right, next you have to solve these three questions using simple prime factorization method. Okay, pause the video here and try to solve these three questions where you have to find the LCM of the two numbers okay let's come back the answers for these questions uh, will be in the answer key in the description of the video now let's move on to the next kind of method okay here we have the division prime factorization method ठीक है हमने ACF के लिए भी ऐसा method किया था अभी हम LCM के लिए करेंगे so on one hand you have the stepsable skill ठीक है for your reference I'm also keeping the first and prime numbers on the side आपके reference के लिए ठीक है let's take one question at a time the first question is 16 and 40 okay the first step in stepsable skill is take the numbers in upside down division bracket दोनों numbers को एक upside down division bracket में ले लेना है ठीक है then Second point is take any least prime number and try to divide both numbers. हमें इस list में से सबसे छोटा prime number एक लेना है जो इन दोनों को divide कर पाएगा. So here we are taking two, okay? So two when divides sixteen, the question becomes eight, and two when divides forty, the question becomes twenty, right? So we'll write eight and twenty below it. Okay? We'll do one more time. Okay? Again we're taking two. Uh, 2 when divides 8 the question is 4 and 2 which divide 20 the question is 10 okay now we'll do it one more time again with 2 okay 2 when divides 4 the question is 2 and 2 with when divides 10 the question is 5 now in ACF we used to stop here because there is no more number which can divide both 2 and 5 right but in LCM we have to continue dividing it okay so we have 2 and 5 we have to take a least prime number which will divide 
2 and 5 then there is no and no number which will divide both 2 and 5 so we'll take one number okay which can divide at least one number so we'll take a number which can divide at least one number so here you can see if you take 2 again so 2 can divide this to 2 is 2 ko divide kar sakta is 5 ko nahi kar sakta right so what we'll do is 2 divide by 2 kitna hota hai the question will be 1 okay and the number which it cannot divide 5 will write it as it is 5 ko 2 divide nahi kar paega okay therefore we'll write 5 as it is now in the last step also you have to do one more time okay and here you have 1 and 5 so cos konsa number lenge jo 1 ya fir 5 ko divide kar paega so 1 is useless only right so you have to think about 5 you have to make this 5 as 1 so 5 ko kisse divide karenge to 1 banega 5 hi lenge hum log right so we'll take 5 here and the last questions will be one and one so this is your main aim okay so you have to repeat the process until we get questions as one so it's last step may aapko one one aana hai okay even if it's not divisible you have to take one number at a time okay and make the last questions one and one okay then how do you find the lcm you have to multiply these all numbers so these all numbers scm of 16 and 40 will get us 80 okay let's see the second example 5 and 15 so here also in the first step as you can see you're taking 5 okay 5 divided by 5 is 1 and 5 divided by 15 is 3 okay now in second step you're taking 3 because 1 is already become 1 so we have to make this 3 as 1 so 3 divided by 3 is 1 so here the last two numbers are 1 and 1 okay in all this type of questions you have to aim for making the last two numbers as 1 in dono ko 1 1 banana hai aapko okay so what will be the lcm here 5 and 15 is 5 into 3 which is 15 okay now here you have your exercise 2 where you have to solve the lcm of two numbers using division prime factorization method the answers of this also you will find in the answer key in the description right let's quickly recap what we learned today today we learned about exponents exponents kya hota hai, wo humne dekha, right exponents have two part one part the part which is below is called as base the part which is on the top is called as power or exponent Okay. we learned about LCM okay. we revised how we studied in grade 6 and we learned two new methods of LCM using prime factorization method one is simple prime factorization method and the other is division prime factorization method with this we have completed today's lesson okay thank you